Do you know VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP both have search mode that is from first to last by default. So if you want to search in XLOOKUP from last to first, you have the method here. Simply what you can do in this case, first I will just showcase you first to last mode and then I will showcase you last to first mode. So simply if we can use XLOOKUP. Now I just want to find out for this employee ID task and status from this table. So simply we can select the lookup value first. So here we have lookup value. You can see in the syntax, we have lookup value. So this employee ID is my lookup value. That is 1001. And what is the lookup array? Lookup array is the range where your lookup value is present. So we will, so we will select this employee ID range, then comma. And now in return array, I want task and status. So I will select this, these two column, then comma. Okay. Now, if you see by default, what you will get, you will get your first result. Like you will get as a result, as a return, your first result. If you want to search from last to first, you can use here in XLOOKUP. You have more syntax here. What are the more syntax here? Like if not found, if not found, you can simply skip also. Like if you want here any value to be showcased, if your value is not found in the table, then you can use this right now. I'm just skipping this by pressing comma. Then you have exact match. You can just select here zero. Then you can see next what we have this search mode. We have search mode. So I want to search from last to first. So I can simply select this minus one and press enter. Now you can see I'm getting this last result of the same employee ID. So this is how you can use this X lookup. And if you want to get whole like you want to get all the result of this same employee id you can use here filter function filter simply you can select the array array is what that you want in return so i want in return this task and status then use comma and include part you can select that lookup range so this is my lookup range then use comma okay we don't have to use comma here because just we have to match our lookup value here simply what we can do is equal to we can use and select this employee ID and close the bracket. Now you can see we are getting all the results related to same employee ID. So this is how you can use these two function, which are X lookup and filter function. If you want to search from last to first, you can use X lookup. And if you want to reflect all the data set with the same employee ID, you can use this filter function. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn from basic to advanced level, you can join my 30 days Excel crash course where I will teach you everything from formulas to automation by using AI tools like ChatGPT and Copilot. If you want to enroll right